Hey guys, welcome back. Most of you queried about latest version of Rasa that is compatible in Colab. And also the Rasa version 1.10.3 is not supported with Colab. In this and the next video, we introduce two versions of Rasa that are quite stable in Colab. But it needs to install and upgrade few packages to work in Colab. In this video, we will look at the Rasa version 2 in Colab. Before that, I recommend watching my previous Rasa videos for a detailed understanding. Let's jump to the Colab. In Rasa version 2, a lot of minor changes occur, like folder and file hierarchy changes. Apart from that, a new rule policy is introduced to handle fixed behavior of a chatbot. One of the major changes in version 2 is training data format change. We will explore in depth the new data format for NLU, stories, rules and more in next videos. Now back to our topic. First install Rasa. Not all version of Rasa 2 is stable in Colab. One that work well in Colab is version 2.8.33. Type pip install rasa version 2.8.33. Wait a moment, it takes some time to install all dependencies related to rasa. Once Rasa is installed, you see a restart runtime button at the bottom of the cell output. Click on it and restart the runtime. Actually, when we install Rasa and its supporting packages, then we need to restart the runtime to use newly installed version. After that, we also need to downgrade the TZ local package. Type pip install tz local version 2.0 tz local is a python module that return an object with local time zone information under unix and windows another important package is nest snq since we already know that jupyter notebook run on event loops so to run the rasa in jupyter notebook in a asynchronous mode we need that package for that, type pip install nest async queue. No need to specify a version. The latest version 1.5.6 work well. But it's good if you mention the version as it helps to avoid future errors if you forget the stable version. Our installation is done. Now, Let's move to the Rasa chatbot development. For that, import some libraries. Import OS. Import Rasa. Import Nest SNQ as well. To run the Rasa in asynchronous mode into the Jupyter Notebook, we have to apply Nest SNQ to the current Colab session. Type Nest SNQ dot apply. Once it's applied, print the message, event loop is ready. Currently, we don't have any initial Rasa project. To create the initial Rasa project, import create initial project from Rasa CLI, type Create a project working directory where our initial Rasa project is created. After that, type create initial project and pass the project directory as input. Execute the cell. 
here you see it created our initial rasa project with all the necessary files later we can modify it according to our problem statement now move into the project directory and print the content inside of the directory i suggest you to watch my rasa video to know about each files and its uses which help you in customization of chatbot to develop the rasa chatbot we have to pass some files to train the chatbot you can consider this files as a training data of the chatbot for that create a few variables like config variable for configuration files training file variable hold relevant data files where as domain variable for domain file create an output variable as well where the trained model is stored after training print it just for confirmation now we are ready to train the rasa chatbot create model path variable that hold our trained model path type rasa dot train and then pass all the variables we created domain comma config remember here we are passing the training files as a list because it's hold multiple files and lastly pass output once training is done print the model path execute the cell to train the chatbot wait for a moment it takes some time to train the model model training is now completed here we created initial rasa chatbot using default data and parameter we didn't customize anything yet let's chat with our initial chatbot first import chat from rasa.jupiter initialize the endpoint as well endpoint file hold the action endpoint and other event broker details that chatbot used to start the chat pass the model path and the end point to the chat function one thing important here is that you need to pass model path dot model as model path is assigned to the model variable which is the training result class variable run the cell wait for a second to load the chatbot the chatbot is ready let test it type hey let's try something i am sad usual image rasa give to cheer up let's end the chat that's great our initial chatbot is working fine That's all from my side. Check out another video on Rasa version three. I put the link in description. One important thing: in future, if any dependencies fail and you not able to install and run Rasa chatbot, check out the notebook first. It's quite easy to update it. I also put the link in description. For queries or any doubt. please leave a comment below see you in next video